Several years ago, I filmed a video with my Ruger 44 Magnum and I was shooting Buffalo Bore Plus P Plus 340 grain bullets, which are known as some of the hottest, if not the hottest rounds on the market today. They are specifically marketed toward people going into the backcountry looking for protection against large and dangerous game, such as bear or moose. Now, the video was not necessarily meant to be taken seriously, it was more just something kind of fun and also to show the power behind those bullets, including the fact that they stuck to the cylinder uh, chamber walls when I was trying to extract it, which makes reloading kind of difficult. A lot of people in the comments started putting out criticism like, oh, I should have used whole grips and I shouldn't use the wooden grips or all oh, those rounds are too powerful or they're underpowered. I am well aware of that. I thought it'd be a fun video to show the power of those rounds since there wasn't a lot of videos out there showing the power of that gun. Now, if I was going in backcountry and I really was concerned about my life, I would probably be carrying a 4570 government or even a 12 gauge shotgun. In this video, we're gonna compare another type of bullet and see its effect on targets. And I'm gonna to try to make this quick, but uh, again, it's not necessarily meant to be taken seriously. I just wanna show a comparison for what this round can do and the recoil that comes out of this gun. I would probably use a pump shotgun if I was going to use a 12 gauge, but in this case, I want something a little faster to really show the recoil and also one of my lightest shotguns I have, which is my beloved Beretta 1301 semi-automatic. I'm gonna do a comparison with several different bullets. First, we have some of my lightest recoiling bullets right now, which are just one ounce, 1200 feet per second, two and three quarter inch seven, uh, number seven bird shot. Next up, we're gonna use military grade double aught buck two and three quarter inch shot shells. Next, we're gonna use Brennecke knockout rounds. These are two and three quarter inch with one ounce slug screaming out at 1650 feet per second. And finally, we have Brennecke Black Magic. These are three inch slugs and they weigh in at one and three eight ounces and they scream out the barrel at 1500 feet per second. These have quite a wallop and again, these are specifically marketed for big game defensive rounds. And so they do have quite a recoil and using this in my Beretta 1301, this is not typically an option people would consider, but on top of that, it is a lightweight shotgun which should make the recoil all that more intensive. So you can use this to compare it against whatever you're gonna use if you should use this round for defensive purposes. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, now for some fun. The Beretta 1301 is a lightweight shotgun and it is also semi-automatic. So this is not the ideal shotgun you should be using in a defensive situation like this, but nonetheless, this will be a good comparison video for people to see how this round will affect them when they take it out for defensive purposes. So this, uh, the magazine tube that I had here is only capable of holding five three inch shells and that is all the way up to the muzzle right there but I can also put one in the chamber and then I can ghost load one which gives me a total of seven rounds. I'm going to shoot these off as fast as I can and again this is just for demonstration purposes. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was fun, but it was a lot more controllable than I expected. I think that, uh, you know, definitely at close range, not something you'd want to use at far range, but 
I could have probably shot it off even faster at that point. It was just kind of more of the, uh, you know, being an auto shotgun and the fear of the unknown, but that was surprisingly more controllable once I caught the hang of it. <laughs> One. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me very much. And if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna have some more fun while I still have some daylight. <laughs>